Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you were new here, hi my name is Monica. I like to post anti-MLM life and some true crime content here on this channel. So if any of that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to stick around. In today's video, I am bringing you anti-MLM content. So of course, just as a disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only and just my opinions. I have literally had enough of Monet. Today I'm going to be reacting to just a bunch of Monet things. The first one is probably, yeah, y'all can form your own opinion on it, but it's something that was shared with me and it's a Monet rep. Then I have another video I'm going to be reacting to and then I am going to touch base on the recent celebrities that have been joining Monet and talking about that a little bit. I didn't want to make a whole entire video dedicated to it because so many people have already talked about it, but I do have my own opinion on the matter. So I will be talking about that at the end. Hello everyone, editing Monica here. I wanted to really quickly say, I know it's very early in the video for me to provide an editing Monica mode, but as of today from filming, I have a new channel member. So shout out to Heather. Thank you so much for becoming a channel member. And thank you so much to everyone who watches my videos for free. But anyway, let's get back to the video. This first video that we're going to be reacting to, I just have to say, a lot of you are probably going to be incredibly pissed off I was too when I first watched it, but let me move over and let's just get into it. Like, to the people that say that this is a pyramid scheme, like, I'm sorry I can't hear you over the music that's playing in my caddy. Um, like, she's about to get a huge bonus. She's not only gonna get a bonus, but her, the girls that she's leading I know that we're only a couple seconds in, but when I heard that first part of, I can't hear it over the music in my caddy, what kind of indoctrinated, entitled bull is that? You just sound so entitled, and I, I was mind blown that that's how this started, because to be completely honest, if I was thinking of joining Mo Monet, Monat, whatever, if I was thinking of joining it and I heard this girl talk like that, I wouldn't join. Because if this is supposed to be your own business, you don't talk to people like that. There are people that hate on the CBD industry. That's what our small business is. Guess what? I would never say something like that. I'm sorry that I'm not being as kind as I usually am, but I've had enough. This, this, I need to calm it down. Need to calm it down. Are getting bonuses and they're on their way to financial freedom. And I'm just like, why wait? Like say yes to you. Okay. Because if you don't, you're just going to be a watcher. Um, you're not going to be a winner. So like take a chance on yourself. Join my team. Sorry guys, I have not eaten since. Take a chance on yourself and join my team and do something for yourself. And the whole FOMO, fear of missing out, this is a normal tactic. But the fact that she's saying do something for yourself and join my team. <sighs> the people that join her team are not doing something for themselves. They are doing it for her, for her reasoning of making money off of the backs of other people. That is what this is. Like 5 a.m. This is my first day back at the hospital, so it's been a crazy day. But um, my point is, is like, I'm not getting any gain off of what um, my friend just did in the business but what I am gaining is first of all she literally she's gonna be my friend for life like I already know this probably my wedding if I ever get married if anybody loves me sisterhood financial freedom now this particular clip is a little over two minutes and already how many things has she talked about 
She has not talked about the products. She's talked about recruiting, talked about her caddy, talked about her one of the, the teammates that has now become her friend, and financial freedom. Editing Monica, I forgot to add something while I was reacting to this portion of the video, but if you heard, the rep said how it was her first day back at the hospital. So I'm going to assume that she's probably a nurse, which means that her talking about financial freedom is a bunch of bull because that means she's making money off of her other job while she's also working Monet. I rest my case. Um, but that's besides the point. So like, I'm not gaining anything from her, but I'm her hype woman. I'm literally like girl gang, although we just added a boss freaking queen. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. Um, but like, I want you to succeed as bad as I want to succeed. Like, period. Okay? Financial freedom can literally... So basically what I'm saying, financial freedom is for everyone. Like, it should be for everyone. And if you're somebody that's, like, hesitant because you're afraid of what other people think, like, first of all, fork that because are they paying your bills? No. Second of all, social selling is, like, the biggest thing right now. Okay? A lot of stores are closed. A lot of... um places have like mandated like masks or whatever it is and like you can't go anywhere but the but this you do from your phone literally wherever you want we actually had other girls that ranked as well and literally they were sleeping like this all happened in their sleep like imagine ranking and like making money while you sleep like isn't that the goal like you want to do something that you can literally make money while you sleep like, what are you waiting for? Ugh, I need to walk away for a second. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had to go walk away from this situation. She talked about the pandemic and that's another tactic that we've seen them use. Then she said how things happen while you're sleeping. You can rank while you're sleeping. Well, if it was that easy, then I'm willing to bet this is one of those reps that as soon as someone leaves her team, that she says they didn't work hard enough. I am willing to bet that she is one of those reps. The whole social selling thing, I've heard a lot of reps start saying this where, it's it's social social selling wow i can't even talk i haven't been able to talk recently i think i'm just my i, I just anyway it's not that stop trying to call it something else because you're just afraid that people are going to automatically think that it's terrible because it's an mlm mlms are terrible they're you you can't you can't tell me otherwise and i understand i have reps that watch me i get that and I am not going to judge you for your choice to join an MLM. But if people are going to argue with me, yes, you can have your own opinion because I have my own opinion, but my opinion is backed by facts and I have legitimate sources, the FTC. What sources do these MLM reps have? That was probably one of the most entitled videos I've ever watched. And I know, I know, I try to be as kind as I possibly can, I do. And I'm sure that she's just very indoctrinated into this. But I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe the words that were coming out of her mouth. Like I said so many times already, I try so, so much to give these reps the benefit of the doubt, but this video just frustrated me beyond belief. Let's move on to, because I, I can't keep talking about it. Let's move on to the second video that I have. I've reacted to this rep twice so far on this channel. She recently received her, well not received, earned her Cadillac. 
And let's go over this post before I go into the video. Sorry, everyone. I had to cut the video because my fiance just bought a Fiat Abarth and he ended up coming and stopping by and letting me see it. Not with an MLM, with hard work from our legitimate small businesses. It's pretty quick. Yeah, it is pretty quick for a little meatball. And her post says, the day is here. A shy, introverted, 18-year-old college freshman, pre-med student, personal trainer. That's who I was when I said yes to this business. Who am I today? A follower of Christ, a strong and confident woman, a five-figure earner, a retired personal trainer, a free vacations qualifier, a leader to a team of 200 plus growing leaders, and now a Cadillac earner. I'll give her props for saying earner instead of saying that this was given to her or that it's free by the company, but she did say the free vacations qualifier, so she kind of said that. Five-figure earner is a very big spectrum of things, so she could easily be making what you would make at a typical nine to five. But let's keep going. I have grown in ways I couldn't have even imagined I would have with this company in only one and a half years. One and a half years, guys. I committed and decided my life wasn't going to be just average and mediocre because I was not placed on this earth to be average. I want to help others achieve their full potential and realize there is so much more to life than what we believe we deserve. This car wasn't given, it was earned. Thank you, God and Monate official, or at Monate. She uses religion, that is another tactic, and of course, I will give her props for saying that it was earned and that it wasn't given to her for free. But what I will not give her props for is that she didn't say that this is a lease. First of all, we know it's a lease and that you get the, the car bonus. But if you watch my free car scam video in there, I talked about very in depth about the Monate car incentive program the bonus that you get from that from if i read it correctly if you don't want to get the car and get the lease then you don't get that bonus that bonus is designated only for the car so let's say that you started monet and you already had a cadillac now either you get another one and you lease it out and you take it out on your credit or you lose out on this bonus so I find that, I think that Monate should change that. That's my personal opinion. Of course, it's not my, my company, so I have no say, but I do think that they should change that to at least give their reps some kind of bonus. Because what if you don't want a Cadillac? What if you have terrible credit and you cannot get that car without a cosigner? And let's say that you are a college student. Let's say that you are someone who doesn't have a husband or a wife that can sign off on this to be a cosigner. So that's something that I wanted to mention. Now let's get into this reps video. IGTV and if you're new to my page, welcome to my page. I'm and I'm actually here to answer some questions for you guys as far as what I do for work and what do you really see on my social media. So I actually invested into my beauty care and into myself really about a year and a half ago and I got a few products for myself to use as far as hair care and skin care. What I basically do is social selling. This is stuff that you guys are probably not familiar with, but you do it unconsciously every single day, such as sharing where you got your food from the other day and referring people to restaurants or referring people to your current skincare or what's been working for your hair lately. You guys do this all the time. But the difference between you and I is that I actually got paid for this and you guys right now may not. So obviously, why not monetize on something that you're already doing? She talked about social selling again. This is not social selling. This is multi-level marketing. This rep is obviously pretty far up there, so she probably makes money off of her team. Well, not probably. We know that she makes money off of her team. And the fact that she says that you're already doing this because you're already recommending places to eat, you're already recommending your skincare, hair care, etc. But why 
is it that they always have to say that you're already doing this, you might as well get paid for it. And that's, that's what I've heard them say quite a number of times. But my counter to that is, why do I have to get paid for it? Why does everything have to be about money? Why can't I just tell my friends and family, hey, I went to a really great restaurant and I think you should try it out. Why should I, why does it always have to be that I, I should be getting paid for that? I, I don't, I don't get it. You're already doing and get paid for it. So the same way that you guys refer people to a certain restaurant, or to a store where you got your makeup from or your skincare from. I do it, but with the best beauty products right now in the market on a global scale. So there's three ways to be able to participate within this company. You can spend money, you can save money, or you can make money. Today, I'm going to be talking about the third option of making money with us. So basically the business opportunity behind this company. Now hear me out. I have been using these along with my family for almost two years now, and they are absolutely amazing. If you guys want my transformation, I literally have a whole highlight about it and other clients in my, in my main page. So yeah, you can check that out. So for the past one and a half years, I have actually been building and running a whole online business, not only for myself, but also helping other people create their own as well. Now, I do wanna clarify something. We are not looking for salespeople. I'm not a salesperson. I have never had a single sales bone in my body. And if you guys know me from a couple years back, you'll be like, damn, how is doing this? Because she was not, she was the type of person that wouldn't even talk in class or anywhere. We're not looking for anybody that has sales experience. If you do, great, awesome, that's great for you. What we do is very, very simple, like I said before. How we get sales is by basically talking about the product, talking about the business itself, and not only that, but sharing the results that it's given other people. Not only with their hair and skin, but also with their financial aspect of life and their personal growth, mindset growth, and all that stuff, because it does have a really, really big impact. And like you've probably heard us say all the time, the product sells itself, guys. It's that good. Once people see transformations, obviously, if the product sells itself, why do you need to build a team and why isn't it sold in stores? That is a question I have because the emphasis is on recruiting. It's not about just selling the product. We see this a lot. If, if you watch a lot of reaction videos, how many times have you seen them talk about the products and how many times have you seen them talk about the business opportunity or AKA recruitment? You're going to be like, damn, I need to try that. And this is a one-stop shop. We have everything you need in terms of hair care, skin care, all of it is here. So it's not like you're going to be jumping from brand to brand. You have it all here and that's why we're so convenient. The standards for people's self-care routines are going up. And this is not like regulatory as far as the US or any laws in specific, but people are finally being more conscious about what they're using on their bodies and what they're using on their hair and skin. We're naturally based, gluten-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, vegan, cruelty-free. We are non-toxic and we do not have any harmful chemicals or fragrances in our products. So that makes us like right now, again, top of the market. Plus, if you guys are referring your friends to binge watch Netflix shows, I'm pretty sure you can refer some people to some clean beauty products, so. Now you guys probably may be asking you. The difference between referring someone to a binge watch a Netflix show is that I can tell them that and I don't have to worry about keeping a PV every month and I don't have to worry about, I mean, you do have your Netflix subscription and everything, but you don't have to do that. That is by choice because you want to watch what's on Netflix. Whereas in an MLM, when you are trying to sell products, you have to have a PV. And we've seen, if you look at some Reddit posts even, with, with these Monet distributors, they have tons and tons of shampoo and conditioner stacked in their bathrooms. And last time I checked, in my bathroom, I have shampoo and conditioner, and then I have the special colored shampoo and conditioner because I have different colored hair. But if it wasn't for this, I would just have 
one bottle of shampoo, one bottle of conditioner. I don't have to stock up on in, on inventory. And if you're referring someone to a Netflix show to binge watch, you don't have to hold a rank. You don't have to recruit them in order to get the perks of being able to watch Netflix shows. Why does it always have to be about money? This is not the same. It is not the same. It's probably maybe asking yourselves what makes us so like insanely different from everybody and why does our stuff work and maybe your current shampoo isn't doing the job let me break it down for you we have four different ingredients that actually set us aside from everybody else and they're trademarked by us so our main one that i am going to go into a little bit so you guys have an idea is our rejuvenique oil you probably have seen that oil all over instagram because it's that good and usually people call it their holy grail and it's super super good so let me tell you why this oil is our key ingredient and why it's infused into all of our products it actually has a molecular structure that is so 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 tiny that it can penetrate through the three layers of your hair so it gets to the cortex and then it starts cleaning out and detoxing your hair from the inside out that's why it's so effective. I get asked this a lot and no, you do not have to be a social media influencer. You do not have to have thousands of followers on your Instagram page to succeed in this business, really. Majority of the people I actually work with are not Instagram famous and they're not IG influencers. So I just wanted to point that out. This business model is actually for people that are not really social media influencers, although influencers do really do well in this business. Most of the people that I actually work with are either moms, full-time college students, or people that have a lot of jobs and they want to get outside of that lifestyle. So it's for anybody. One of the things that we actually... Do you see how she talked about certain people that she targets moms college students and people who have multiple jobs who don't want to have multiple jobs so let me guess probably behind the scenes and of course this is just my opinion allegedly i don't know this rep personally so i don't know how she is behind the scenes but most of the time we see behind the scenes that when someone is targeting a mom there's a lot of mom shaming that goes around and there's also you, you hear them say that, oh, well, don't you want to contribute to your family? But then on the other hand, they say, well, don't you want to stay home with your kids? What? I don't understand why it's anybody else's business if a mom wants to stay at home with her kids or if she wants to have a career and also be a mom. Why is that anybody's business? But they target these people then college students i mean how many of you because i have heard this from so many people and myself included how many of you now granted this isn't an mlm it is direct selling were targeted by either an mlm once you graduated college or by vector marketing yeah hi i went to an interview for vector marketing and i thought it was a legitimate marketing position but i had to story time real quick i had to let my dad know where i was at the time because i pulled up to a really sketchy building and i was really 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 worried that i was about to get chopped up into pieces so i told my dad where i was and i said i'm gonna go in because i need a job anyway maybe maybe don't judge a book by its cover maybe it's just the outside of the building they're doing some kind of renovation well i went inside sure enough it was for vector marketing and of course i said no but how many people get targeted while they're in college? And we, we just, uh, the actually emphasizes the diversity within this business. And that's one of the things that makes it so, so good. All you have to be is open-minded, eager to learn, and we will do the rest of the work with you. Especially with training from me and other top income earners in the company, you will be just fine, I promise. One of the things that we do focus on is learning as you earn. So that's why the business is so important. We are gonna be training you, but you are also going to be doing sales and we're gonna be teaching you how to implement this stuff as- Didn't she just say in the beginning of the video that they're not hiring salespeople, but now she's talking about sales? Unless if what she meant was they're not hiring the stereotypical salesperson that anyone can join this company and do well in it. That's probably what she was trying to get at. But the fact that she said how 
we're going to help you through all of this and you're going to be fine. I promise you can't make promises like this because you don't know this person's, first of all, you don't know their situation. Okay. Second of all, you cannot make any kind of claims. You have to say that everybody's experience is going to be different. Not everyone is going to make money in an MLM. We know that. 99.6% of people make little to no money or lose money. And I know that I say that in almost every single video on my channel, but I have to reiterate it so that everyone knows that. As you learn it, so you can earn while you learn. If moms with full-time jobs and going to grad school are doing this, you guys can too, I promise. And a lot of people tell me, hey, I don't really have a big social media following. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have a lot of family members. How am I going to sell to people? And that is the whole point of network marketing. You network while you market. It's the same thing, guys. You're making friends while you are marketing a product. And like I said before, it sells itself. So you just show the results. But you're not making friends. You're making fake friends. And then you put on this facade of the sisterhood in order to get some people suckered into it because some people, that's what they're looking for. But you're making false friendships because I have heard from so many people that they get someone in their inbox and they don't know that they're an MLM rep. This person starts talking to them or they say things like, oh, you know, we haven't caught up in a while because they're an old friend or something like that. And then boom, the pitch. That is not making a friendship. Making a friendship with the thought of, I'm gonna pitch them. I'm gonna ask them to join my team. That's not a friendship. You just show the results. You show how it's working for you and people are going to buy. So again, this is the whole, that's the whole foundation of network marketing. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys and tell you that none of my friends that I've known for most of my life joined the business with me. None of them are doing the business with me, not one. And if you have a phone or a laptop, that is all you need to work this business. So you're ready to go. The company handles everything. They handle inventory. We do not carry any of the products besides our own that we use ourselves for our skin. So how is it a small business how are you a small business owner if you're talking about how the company handles everything for you? The company has all the products. The company, do you see what I'm getting at here? Is that they say that one second, I'm a small business owner. The next second, we're a multi-million dollar company. This company started in 2014. So which one is it? for our skincare and our hair care. They handle everything as far as inventory goes, how to set up your website. You do not have to spend any money on creating your website or maintaining it because they do it for you. They also track all of your orders for you. You do not have to have a notebook and a paper tracking your orders and the percentages that you do. They all calculate that for your commissions every single week, by the way. As a small business owner, there are other ways of getting all of those analytics without having to use a like she said pen and paper there are other things that will tell you those analytics as a legitimate small business owner so this is not just for monet this is not just for mlm there are programs like that out there by the way and then on top of that we don't have a quota for sales which basically means that you are your own boss. You're the one that's determining how much you want to sell and how much you want to get paid every single week and every single month. So that's the beauty of it. That's honestly my favorite part because I don't like people telling me how much I need to sell because that's why I did this. I wanted to be my own boss. And it's super, super simple, guys. You sell, you make money. You don't sell, you don't make money. That's basically how it works. After you're done watching this video, Go back to the person that sent it to you, or if you found it on my page, ask me about the 10 ways that you guys can get paid with this company. There's 10 different ways for you guys to make money. That's how, that's how amazing this thing is. And I don't want to hear anybody whining about having to purchase your own products because like I said in the beginning, we promote with authenticity and real results. 
you can't expect somebody to buy something off of you or invest into your business if you are not even willing to invest into your own. So that means getting your own products, starting to use them, starting to show people that you are using this stuff and showing them how it's working for you so they can be like, damn, okay, like Liz is doing really good. Those products are doing her skin really well or her hair really well. Like I wanna know what that is. That's how you're going to attract people's attention and that's how you're gonna get your sales in. So you have four options to get started with us. The first one is $199, $349, $599, and $799. It just depends on how many products you want to get started with. They all bring samples. They all bring marketing materials. They also bring a workbook to keep you on track in the beginning stages of your business, which I personally find it as one of my favorite things when you get started with us. You do have a lot of tools and, and resources for you to get started on the right foot. And no, nobody's going to send you guys free products because that would mean that thousands of people are getting free products and that would mean that the company has to implement a quota and I'd rather buy my products. So no one gets free samples because there's thousands of people in the company. But didn't she just say that she wanted to be her own boss? So all of those thousands of people are also their own boss? And funny that she men mentions the, the free sample thing because we get free samples sent to us all the time from companies who want to carry their products in our store. And sometimes we'll test them out. Other times we'll look at the ingredients and be like, no, this is hot garbage. But we get samples sent to us all the time. I... I just ugh. my products then have to sell a certain amount every single month to even get paid so I'd rather not do that I'd rather buy my products this business has not only helped me with my mindset and elevate my my goals but it has also helped me with my financial situation I have gone on a lot of paid trips so I've really lived it up with these people and it's just been a different it's been an amazing experience I'd love to mentor you and I'd love to help you out with your mindset your financial situation and really how to elevate you gonna stop it there but she talks about how she wants to mentor you we hear that this this is I think this is a new tactic that a lot of these MLM reps are using that they want to mentor instead of just constantly saying I want you to join my team it's I want to mentor you because that makes it sound more like well we got your back and we're gonna train you and we're gonna do all of these things with you so I think that that's why they're starting to say this whole mentor nonsense but those are the videos that I wanted to react to before we get into some of these celebrities that are in MLMs because of course I have my own opinion about it. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about the two videos I just reacted to. The second one that I reacted to, she kind of repeats herself because the last video that I reacted and that she was in, she kind of said the same thing. So it's just her reiterating what she's already said. Whereas the first one, that one was a doozy and yeah but i wanted to get into these mlms these mlm celebrities now before i talk about these celebrities individually i wanted to mention that for them it's going to be so easy to build a team and it's going to be so easy to sell products now, because of parasocial relationships that we have with these celebrities, I've covered this in an entire video on its own, but because of these parasocial relationships and because people look up to a lot of these celebrities or reality stars, they won't see it that way. And, and of course, this does fall on the individual and it is our responsibility to do our research on our own. But these celebrities, they have a massive platform or they have a massive audience. So they do have the upper hand. And while yes, they did build their brand, they did build if they're an actress or something, that yes, they did do that with hard work. But with these MLMs, they're going to climb to the top. The first one I wanted to go over was the uh, Gretchen Rossi or whatever her name is. I don't remember her how to say her last name but she was from Orange County Housewives or the real housewife real housewives of Orange County I'm sorry I don't really follow the real housewives but someone had posted this in my anti MLM group and it shows Gretchen with a Monet thing treatment in one picture and then in the next picture 
she's promoting another hair vitamin supplement. So you can't tell me that you're just using this one product and that you love this product, but then you're gonna go on and talk about how you love this other product. This is the type of influencer, I mean, she is a celebrity, but inf the influencers that do this, a lot of people don't find them credible because they're constantly switching from, oh, I love this product, but oh, here's another product. And a lot of companies nowadays will, well, not a lot of them, but some of them will say that if you partner with a specific, let's say it's a hair supplement company. If you partner with this specific hair company, then we don't want you to review and we don't want to pay you for an ad or a sponsored post until X amount of months because we don't want it to look like it's inauthentic and something that i wanted to mention about her too i mean she's constantly promoting on her instagram different supplements and stuff so i think that she's she's doing these as sponsored posts and just to make a little extra cash after talking about how gretchen is promoting monate but then she's promoting a whole nother hair vitamin I dug into her Instagram and I know that a lot of people have probably already talked about this, but I wanted to talk about it because I just, I have my own opinion on it. But there was another post and it said, without fail, one of my number one questions is always about my hair. Yes, this is all my own hair, no extensions. Ever since I was on Housewives, I have always been asked about my hair and what I do to keep it healthy, shiny, and full of volume. So today I'm finally doing a Facebook Live sharing those tips and tricks with you guys. I will also be sharing the products I have been using in order to get my hair in its best condition ever. So if you are interested in some of my hair trip tips and tricks, then click the link in my bio, blah, 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 blah. The funny thing is though, is she talked about how she's been getting these questions about her hair for so long, but yet now she's going to say that it's Monet. Her hair looks the same with or without Monet. Like it, it, I don't see a difference in her Instagram pictures. And I highly doubt that she's not getting blowouts all the time, that she's not going to the salon all the time. I highly doubt that it's just by her doing, you know, just, just using shampoo and conditioner. I feel as though this would fall under false advertising, allegedly, my opinion, because the FTC has guidelines, not just for MLM companies, but they have guidelines for influencers and for content creators. That's why a lot of people at one point got in trouble for not disclosing that they had sponsorships or that they were endorsed or anything of that nature. That's why you see a lot of people that put hashtag ad or hashtag sponsored. So, I mean, I think this would fall under fraudulent advertising, but maybe that's, that's just my opinion. She does have a lot of posts on her Instagram of promoting other supplements. So either she really likes supplements or she's doing it because she needs the cash. The next person I wanted to talk about was, and a lot of people have talked about this, but Holly Marie Combs or AKA Piper from Charmed. She has had beautiful hair for a very, very long time. I remember watching Charmed in, was it high school? I think it was either high school or, or it was like seventh or eighth grade or something like that. But I remember watching Charmed and always thinking, wow, she has gorgeous hair. I wish I could have hair like that. So of course she went on to promote how she's in Monet and a lot of people tried to educate her on it. Of course there were people that were being really nasty with their responses, but a lot of people were trying to educate her. Of course, I don't know if she's already been indoctrinated into the MLM or if it's just she didn't know how to respond to it, but of course, the anti-MLM community was made out to be haters. And she said how she's partnered with a really great company and all of these things. She's blocked people. She also went on to threaten to sue people if they wouldn't basically leave her alone and stop calling it a pyramid scheme because pyramid schemes are illegal, which technically, yes, she's right. Pyramid schemes are illegal and it's not deemed a pyramid scheme yet in my opinion. The recovering Hanbot or Alanda, if you guys know her here on YouTube, she even tried to educate 
Holly. And of course, she got blocked on Twitter. And I'll pop up her, her Twitter or her tweet. And it says, when you try to help a celebrity who joined Monet official, see how you cannot listen to anything outside of the MLM narrative. Obviously, I'm a hater and know nothing. Even celebrities will fall for this narrative that they get from their MLM company. It's, it's not just these everyday reps who are stay-at-home moms or are college students or whatever whatever they are. It's not just the average everyday person that follows this MLM narrative. Celebrities can fall for that narrative too. The last and final celebrity I wanted to talk about, I have to do this in editing Monica mode because my camera completely cut this out, but the last person will be Black China. Black China has made a name for herself for sure. She does a lot of sponsored posts, a lot of ads and everything, and she will have the upper hand with this. The news about Black China becoming part of Monet is very fresh, so of course I don't have too, too much information on it so far, but as I said previously, celebrities, they have an upper hand. So for someone like Black China, who has been very successful and does have a lot of ads and sponsored posts and does have a large following, it will be easy for her to sell the products or to rank up in the company and to get people to sign up under her. Unfortunately, that is the reality of it all. Now back to the video. It makes no sense to me when these MLM celebrities when they join these companies because in my mind i think either one they're really desperate for money because they know that they can build a team with their giant platform but at the same time these celebrities they have a pr team why doesn't the pr team look into who they're endorsing this next thing that i'm about to say is of course opinion based and i'm not trying to accuse anyone this is just putting theories out on the table but why all of a sudden are all of these celebrities becoming part of these mlms is it because maybe they are being endorsed by it or maybe the company itself is helping them out in some kind of way that's just a theory and a thought again i'm not accusing anybody so holly don't come for me with your lawsuit that's what i wanted to talk about today i wanted to just bring a little bit of monet garbage to everyone the dumpster fire that is monet i i feel like they're one of they're at the top of most i guess top 10 MLM companies that are really petty and catty. I talked about Unique in a previous video when I tested out the, the 4D mascara. I talked about how I think they're one of the most pettiest and cattiest MLMs, but I think Monet is right up there. So is Arbonne, so is Beachbody. Because a lot of the reps, and also even Sensi, because the rep that I reacted to in that Sensi video, I thought that I approached it in a good way. In, in a kind manner because I was reacting to what she was spewing that she's been told by the MLM company. What she was saying is very similar to what a lot of other reps say. And of course she sent a bunch of people to my video to dislike it, but then I was told that she went and talked about it in one of those private Facebook groups and talked about how I'm uneducated oh by the way she didn't watch the video but i'm uneducated i'm ignorant and that she probably makes more money in eight hours than i do in a month you sound like a real gem let me tell you because i have nothing against her i would love to have her come on my channel and have a debate on why she's pro mlm and why she thinks that i'm uneducated and ignorant because i'm not i do my research what kind of research do you have that backs up why your Sensi MLM company that you work for, you're an independent contractor for, what research do you have that backs up that it's a good business model or that people can make money? How many people in your team are making money? Have you looked at your income disclosure statement? Have you looked into the FTC? Yeah, you might be making money, but why don't you ask all of your other reps, hey, how much money are you making or how much money are you losing? That's just my take on the matter. And again, I still have nothing against her, even though she called me those names, because if that's what it takes for her to feel better from someone who is criticizing and critiquing 
the MLM industry and what she has been taught to say, then, I mean, by all means, say whatever you want about me. I know that at the end of the day, I can go to bed and, and fall asleep at night knowing that I'm not making money off the backs of other people and that I'm an actual small business owner who doesn't have to recruit people. I don't have to recruit people here. And if I were, if, if we were to hire someone, let's say we wanted to hire someone part-time, they would get a designated hourly wage. It wouldn't be that you have to recruit people in order to make a bonus. So with all that being said, I'm sorry that I rambled. I probably repeated myself multiple times in this entire video. So if you have watched up to here, thank you so much for watching. And this is Monica reporting to you live from a highway. Bye.